Hello friends, I am your Jess, welcome back to my channel everything with English. In this video you are to know about formal and informal conversation. Let's get started. Communication could be verbal, spoken or written or non-verbal i.e. using sign language, body movements, facial expressions, gestures, eye contact or even with the tone of voice. In an organization, there are two channels of communication, formal communication and informal communication. People often confuse between these two channels. So here we have presented the difference between formal and informal communication network. Formal and informal language serve different purposes. The tone, the choice of words and the way the words are put together vary between the two styles. Formal language is less personal than informal language. It is used when writing for professional or academic purposes like university assignments. Formal language does not use colloquialisms, contractions or first-person pronouns such as I or we. Informal language is more casual and spontaneous. It is used when communicating with friends or family either in writing or in conversation. It is used when writing personal emails, text messages and in some business correspondence. The tone of informal language is more personal than formal language. Key differences between formal and informal communication. The following points are substantial. So far as the difference between formal and informal communication is concerned. 1. Formal communication is also known by the name of official communication. Informal communication is also known by the name of grapevine. 2. Informal communication. The information must follow a chain of command. Conversely, the informal communication can move freely in any direction. 3. Informal communication. Full secrecy is maintained. But in the case of informal communication maintenance of secrecy is a very tough task. 4. Formal communication is written, whereas informal communication is oral. Formal communication is time consuming as opposed to informal communication, which is rapid and quick. 5. Formal communication is more reliable than informal communication. Formal communication is designed by the organization. Informal communication starts itself due to the urge of human to talk. 6. Informal communication. The documentary evidence is always available. On the other hand, in the case of informal communication, the supporting documents are not available. Conclusion. A very deep discussion on the difference between formal and informal communication has been done. Nowadays, many big transnational organizations have started an open door policy, in which any employee of any department can communicate directly with the head of an organization about their complaints, grievances, and requests. This results in reducing the complexity of the formal communication.